Hey guys, we're working today on an O3 Impala that likes to idle too high. The thing is, is that uh, it's not a vacuum leak because some days it acts just completely normal. So we're going to go with an IAC. So this video is going to be a real quick tutorial. If you have a 2003 or really any Chevrolet with a 3.4 or very other similar engines, this is how you change the idle air control motor out. Very simple. And this particular cost is about 30 bucks. You can do it yourself in about 15 minutes. No big deal. Subscribe to the channel and we'll have links to the products below. Over here at the IAC, this is right under the hood. You can see the throttle body right here. It's sitting right at the top. It takes a T15. I gently massage that out of the way. Location's tricky. Location's a little tricky for the screw. I just don't want to lose it. Okay, just want to lose it. And then we got this one right here. It's a wrap. That's all there is to this guy. It's only two little screws. And of course, you have the connection, which is no big deal. This is what it looks like inside the IAC if you guys want to ever take a look or wonder what's going on. And it does look pretty bad. And if we took a look at the brand new one. Oh, I see the brand new one's O-ring's trying to come up with it. All right, let's put that right back on there. I'm gonna keep the O-ring, keep it nice and clean. But, what does this tell you right off the bat? It looks like the tolerance is a little different. Um, the new one seems to be in, and it's not going all the way down, and that probably is the problem, if I had to guess. Meanwhile, it really takes nothing. I would go ahead and disconnect the battery, which has been done for another project on this car. And you just slide it in, make sure your O-ring is where it's supposed to be. Slide it in. Kind of just do it there by hand a little bit. No big deal. Take these miniature, super small little T15s torques a bit, that's what they are called. Restart them into the process here. And there's a right way and a wrong way. One side's a little longer than the other because it doesn't line up. So that's really the only thing you need to know. Of course, you'll figure that out as soon as one doesn't work. Other than that, real simple job. All right, guys. On the nuts problem this little jewel has, that's about a wrap on this guy. All right, guys, so look, if you need anything or any help from the car man, I'm always here. It's just a quick tutorial just in case you have this problem. Save yourself a hundred bucks from having somebody else do it. Meanwhile, nothing but love from the car man and RVA. See you on the next one.